I, I think another important thing to mention, uh, so the, the original technical service bulletin was in 2018. There was another technical service bulletin in 2019 and another technical service bulletin this year, which includes the 2020 truck. Mm -hmm. So Ford has known about this problem That's for fine. three years. Yep. garage like and subscribe welcome back to this guy's garage today we're talking about the oil consumption issue again again today we have my neighbor Ken back uh, we talk about the issues that we were having with our trucks and we're gonna follow up with the oil consumption test that we we started a week ago so before I digress too far Issue, we need to get forward to address the issue so a petition has been started at change.org uh, there'll be a link in the comments there'll be a link in the description uh, follow those through if you have if you have this problem with your truck I think it might be important to uh, fill out that pet petition let's get a uh, let's get a, at least a couple of thousand signatures going and uh, get the ball rolling and uh, Share this information wherever you can. Share it in the message boards. Share it on Facebook. Share it on the Twitter. Wherever, whatever social media is, uh, float your boat. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so we have twenty thousand one hundred nineteen kilometers. Nineteen seven, so about four hundred kilometers. About, about uh, two hundred miles. So you started it up, we had it running for five minutes, like they say in the technical service bulletin. We just let it sit here for five minutes, let all the oil go down to the bottom. And uh, you were in the Ford today. What did uh, they tell you about the, the problems that you were having? Well, it's a known issue. They yeah. know about it. You know, they, they, but they're it, not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything. Yeah. They know about the transmissions. They know about the engines. Yeah. They know that this here is a joke. Yeah. The dipstick was a joke. Yeah. I mean, it's criminal. Yeah. It's, cr it's criminal, yeah. When you look at what... They lengthen the dipstick, they lift, they move the full mark higher and put the lower mark lower. Yeah, like so people are idiots. Two or three yeah. liters of fucking oil. Uh, excuse me for yeah. cursing. Oh, uh, I, can, I can cut that out. Yeah. Two or three liters of oil in the difference, so yeah. you get through your oil changes or you get through your warranty and you know, yeah. wave goodbye to you. Well, and here's, here's, like, I never had a chance to bring it up because there's been so many problems with the, the engine, is that the transmission doesn't like this engine. No. You're having transmission problems to boot. I was having transmission problems with my truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, what transmission problems are you having with your truck? Well, it started when I first bought it. I had 90 kilometers on it. I brought it back to the dealership. My truck was still on the lot. And I said, there has to be a lemon lot. The transmission shot in that truck. It wouldn't shift half the times. wouldn't come mm -hmm. at it first. Mm -hmm. I'd go up to 3,500 RPMs. Now, that, the truck is screaming, then yeah. the engine. Yeah. And then if, if it did shift, it'd go to mm -hmm. third, might skip mm -hmm. second or whatever. And then it would jam in mm -hmm. the gears. Mm -hmm. Or if I go to pull away, it's... We went for coffee one day at the drive through up at Robbins and went to pull up to get the coffee after ordering it. And I thought someone hit the box three mm -hmm. times because it banged three times. Yeah, my truck was banging all the time, too. Couldn't find what gear it wanted to yeah. go in. Today we're, is the first day of the test on the oil consumption test on my neighbor Ken's truck. It's gone down a little bit of oil. He hasn't traveled a whole pile of miles. You can catch that uh, oil check at the end of the video. So, we're talking about technical service bulletin 2365, 2338, 2058, which started in 2018, 2019, and now includes 2020. So this, Ford has not done anything to manage this problem. So, this engine has been out since 2011. 2011, 2012, I had a 2011, I had a 2013, I had a 2015, all with the 5-liter engine, never had any problems with consuming oil, they all had 6-speed transmission. So what happens I in 2018? In 2018, we get the 10-speed transmission, which intersects with the transmission technical service bulletin, the 
I haven't had a chance to get in into yet and it intersects with the engine rattle that I, I have discussed in previous videos to just to uh, give you an idea how long Ford will let something go I included the frozen latch which is a problem since 2015 uh, I had a 2016 truck that uh, that had this problem and when I got my 2018 I was surprised to get the same recall letter that I got on my 2015 and uh, I'm, I won't be surprised if they're still issuing recalls for this on the 2019-2020 model year. It goes to the point that, you know, why wouldn't you fix this on the line after four years? Because it's cheaper to deal with it in the aftermarket. A lot of these trucks are sold in southern states. They'll never experience this issue. So it's just cheaper to leave it go. Half the people won't even get the, the recall done. So. So that's what they're banking on. It's a, it's a, it's a dollar and cents thing. And there was all kinds of issues with the transmission, so I kept bringing it back. I took the truck in. I wanted to see if I could get mine back. I thought there would be a lemon law. In the end, they've reflashed the computer yeah. numerous times. Yeah. And I suggest that one day, because I have a little bit of a mechanical background, that it sounded like the valve body was bad in that transmission. Mm -hmm. Next time I went in, they're going to put the valve body in. Mm -hmm. Fine. They call me and tell me my truck's ready, so I go in to get it, and the service technician was backing it out, and I said, how's driving that around the front? Oh, he said, it's not done yet. Said, what do you mean it's not done? They call me and tell me the truck was ready. Said, no, we don't have enough transmission fluids. He said to, to top that off, so we have to leave it here overnight because we had to send down to the other dealership to get the Ford transmission mm -hmm. fluid. And it, it just progressed from there. So they're still having the same issues. Mm -hmm. They're trying to find the gear, clunking and banging everywhere. We, mm -hmm. You're going. Finally, they said they were going to put a, a transmission in it, mm -hmm. so they ordered the transmission. Or I took the truck mm -hmm. in to get it done, and they said, no, the Ford won't go good for a transmission. They want us to troubleshoot it some more. Mm -hmm. well, how much troubleshooting do you have to do? Like, this is seven or eight times I'm in here now, yeah. you know. So finally they said, um, they, do you mind if the technician takes it home mm -hmm. for a couple of days or uses your truck? Mm -hmm. My response to that was, he can take it and he can keep it, because yeah. I hate it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Anyway, Same way I felt about mine. Anyway, I left and I went home, and I, they gave me a truck every time I went in. They were really good. The dealership was good like that. I the dealership was great. Yeah. It's, it's Ford. It's not the dealership. It's the Ford yeah. company that makes the truck. Anyway, I wasn't home an hour, and they called me and said, the technician was driving your vehicle, and they did it three times to him. Yeah. So, we're going to go good for a transmission. Yeah. So they put a new transmission in. Allegedly. They told me, they, told me they, they put a new transmission in. I figured they'd have the truck for two or three days. Well, mm. at least two days, because by the time you drop the transfer case and pull the axles and Yeah, it's whatever, a big job. It's a big job. Yeah. Six hours later, they called and said, your truck is ready. But I'm 62 years old. I wasn't climbing under it. They're 63 yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Climbing under it to yeah. see if they yeah. did it. Yeah. But I assume they did it. Yeah. So the 10 speed transmission comes in in 2018 and now this engine that didn't have any problems you've all heard of unintended consequences. So this 10 speed transmission was designed for the 3.5 Eco, the 3 liter diesel and the 2.7 liter twin turbo. I think it's also important to mention that the 3 0.7 liter engine has the six speed transmission that came pre in previous model years for the naturally aspirated engines and the in the EcoBoost engines. So the 3.7 has its own transmission, the six speed that was in previous generations of Ford trucks. They would have built a truck to test with this 10 speed transmission, and I would say it didn't work at all. The five liter barely works. Uh, my neighbor Ken didn't have 700 kilometers on his when he was complaining about transmission issues. Mine was the same. I've been com complaining about transmission issues. They claim to have flashed it and updated the problem, but it has never solved the problem. So, anyway, they told me the truck has to relearn how my driving habits are. Well, mm -hmm. that's about 
9,000 kilometers ago, and it still can't make up its mind how my driving habits are because mm. it's still doing the same thing. It's jumping at a gear, jumping, banging and plunking. Hey, how you doing? Hi. I, I think another important thing to mention, uh, so the, the original technical service bulletin was in 2018. There was another technical service bulletin in 2019, and another technical service bulletin this year, which includes the 2020 truck. Mm -hmm. So Ford has known about this problem that for fire. three years yep. and not come up with a satisfiable solution for anybody. No. In 2018, an engine that didn't have any problems now has engine rattle, oil consumption. The reason being is naturally aspirated engines don't like to be lugged down at low RPMs. And I'm going to get more into this topic because that's a video all on its own. So stay tuned for that. I was at the Chevy dealership today too. Like, but they, they got, I think they got an 8-speed transmission. Now. They actually, and it would be wise for people to know, Ford and Chev built this transmission together. Okay. So there are six speeds available from Chev that... that that people are having trouble. Good luck with them. Mm -hmm. The eight speeds, they're not. They're they're iffy. They're iffy. Yeah. And the ten speed, it's well, gonna it's gonna give the same results as. Be the same, yeah. yeah. So it's this is a shared GM Ford Venture that hasn't worked out. So I guess we got uh, enough information. Let's uh, get a little uh, oil. Let's get a little oil check. Let's check the original dipstick and. Okay. Uh, and Elusive dipstick. Mm -hmm. oh. No, it's criminal what they did. It, it is. is, it's just not right. <laughs> All right. So that's down even a little further than it was last week. It was a quarter Which, inch last yeah. week. Okay. All right. It's close to half inch, isn't it? But it's, it's at least a quarter inch. Okay. You only put 200 miles on it. I can't, I, yeah. you know, we're, we're not, we're not going to move too far. But we're not going to move too far. But, but your dipstick yeah. will tell us because it was at the full mark. Yeah, it was at the full mark. Now, uh, you know, if a person wanted to be adding oil hmm. to your truck every every three weeks, you, you, <laughs> you, you, you'd buy a 76 Valeria with a slant six. Yes, you know yeah. I mean, you, yep. wouldn't, yep. you wouldn't be going spending 40, 50 grand on a new truck. And it's ridiculous because they're they're just trying to hide this problem. Yeah. So that's down twenty percent of a liter. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep checking and uh, go from there. We'll go from there. Okay. So, but uh, I think more of the point. Not this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't want to mix. Yeah, this is. Yeah. We don't want to mix them up. We don't want them to get your dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Not switching out. Yeah, so uh, more of the point of this would be uh, they had this problem for three years and they're not doing anything, not about, doing anything it. about it. No. They're just trying to bury the problem. Trying to hide it. Yeah. That's all. If you appreciate this information, subscribe, leave a like, go to change.org where we have a petition. Start it and uh, let's make some noise, people. Let's get out there, share this information wherever you can, share it on the message board, share it wherever. So peace, love, share, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. This guy's out. Garage. Like and subscribe.